Hi all. In this video, we are going to learn about LoRa Relay Control System. Using this control system, you can turn on and off the home appliances using the LoRa remotely. This system can also be used to turn on the irrigational projects like water pump or motors. You can also use this system to turn on the server or turn on the any appliances remotely from the distance of 4 to 5 km. The board used in this video is purchased from makerfabs.com. So this is the LoRa relay 30 ampere that I purchased for it 15.90 dollar. So you can visit this link and read more about this board and also you can make a purchase. Now along with this board I have a transmitter board as well. So the transmitter board is called as Marino LoRa radio. The board cost around 18.90 dollar. So you can purchase the board from the same link and to learn more about this board you can visit this description part. So in this video we will be discussing about this LoRa relay as well as the transmitter part. So first let's learn about the LoRa relay. So the relay module is operated at 250 volt with a maximum current rating of 30 ampere and the LoRa used here is RFM98 that is basically for Asia region for Europe and America you will be using RFM95. So it has the output terminal like NO, COM and NC. From here you can use the 12 volt 2 ampere power supply to power the module. It has a 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller with Arduino Pro Mini bootloader uploaded on it. And then here are the external ISP for uploading the code. You can press this reset button while uploading the code or resetting the whole device. And then on the back side you can see the frequency selection along with the model that is RFM 98 and 95 based upon 433, 868 and 915 MHz frequency. Now this module requires a transmitter. So here is the transmitter board. The transmitter board has 8 mega 3 to 8 Pro Mini board and RFM 98. There are input and output pins from D0 to D13 and A0 to A5 same like the Arduino Pro Mini. The code can be uploaded using USB to TTL converter or by micro USB. It has a two port, one for battery and one for charger. On the back side you can see the company name that is Maker Fabs that manufactures this port. This is the antenna that receives the signal remotely. Now using these two modules we will make a communication system to control a bulb. So here is a circuit diagram. The relay module has a bulb attached and on the transmitter side we have an OLED display and the push button pin. So here is a transmitter part. This is the LoRa board with LoRa model RFM98 OLED display connected to the I2C pin and a push button connected to the D3 pin. Okay. From here we will press a reset button and then control the device remotely. That will be turning on this bulb on and off remotely and the status will be displayed on the OLED screen. So make a connection like this. Okay. Now you can connect this to 230 volt power supply but first connect the 12 volt adapter to power on the device and then uh, 230 volt supply to power on the relay. On the transmitter side we will be powering the device using micro USB data cable along with the adapter. So the device is powered on. You can see DORA initialization and OK. Now let us control this device. When you press a push button, the OLED will display on logo and the bulb on the relay side turns on. Now when you press the button again, it will display off and the bulb will turn off. Again press, it will turn on. And after pressing again it will turn up. So in this way you can control the appliances remotely just by pressing a single push button.
you can also connect multiple uh, relay at the receiver in so that if you want to go make a home appliances project i will be making such projects in other videos okay so now let's move to the programming part now let us see this code part so we have two code one is for the transmitter and another is for relay receiver on the transmitter side we are using a LoRa library from Sandeep Mystery and we are also using the library for OLED display. We are defining the, some of the parameters for OLED display and here we are defining the logo height and the width. Now this logo is used to display on and off logo on OLED screen. Okay, So we are defining the button pin as 3 and also we are defining the status of the button pin whether the pin is pressed 1 or whether the pin is pressed twice okay and using the LoRa message and uh, using the string function we are sending two variables that is the ID that is the data number and also we are sending the on and off status that is we are sending one or we are sending zero okay and on the receiver side we are just extracting the same parameter that is uh, the string do we receive the loader data and the data will be extracted using this function and the string is then converted into integer function using 2int okay and then using this 1 and 0 command we are controlling the on and off status of the relay as well as the led this is the on built led and this is the relay both are control using the same command to upload this code you need to select the pro mini board and then on the pro mini part you need to select 8 mega 3 to 8 3.3 volt 8 megahertz and on the receiver side the same board is used 8 mega 3 to 8 3.3 volt and 8 megahertz 